on this episode of Inside the Blueprint, an education in credit insurance and why your company needs it. Real estate law made easy by the experts. A staffing company that's sure to find you the perfect candidate. Consulting that makes growth easy. These stories and so much more. Have you ever heard of trade credit insurance? Most people haven't, but it can be one of the most important things a business can invest in. To find out, we contacted Isaac Gonkfried and Associates leading experts with over two decades of experience in trade credit insurance and receivable management solutions so they could educate us on the product. Credit insurance is a credit management tool that empowers your trading decision by providing you with access to world-class knowledge and data intelligence enabling businesses to safely and aggressively grow their sales with new and existing customers and confidently enter new domestic or international markets without credit concerns. Since the inception of Isaac Gonsfried & Associates, I have centered all of our efforts, emphasis and commitment on gaining a deeper understanding of the receivable insurance market, as well as expanding our network of direct access to underwriters and insurance management. At Isaac Gonsfried & Associates, we take an individualized approach to each and every one of our clients. To begin, we research their company as well as their customer portfolio to ensure that we introduce them to the carrier that is most familiar and understanding to their business needs and processes. Second, and perhaps more critically, we look for the carrier who can demonstrate that they have the necessary expertise as well as the risk appetite for the industry in which we will expect them to underwrite and approve credit risk. The 80% of what uh, underwriters do uh, is they comb through a portfolio of accounts, uh, reviewing each account's risk. These accounts are called buyers or uh, the client's customers. Uh, they're the ones buying their product or service. For larger risks, uh, underwriters will review the account's uh, financial statements. Um, they may need to source this information uh, or for more actively traded accounts. Uh, and given our large uh, network of clients, the necessary information may already be on file. Underwriters then take the credit risk underwriting uh, and, and the terms of sale to model pricing and possibly a deductible. In recent years, uh, use of trade credit insurance has grown uh, among companies and financial institutions uh, who rely on the insurance company to mitigate unexpected risks. Uh, that is really the definition of insurance, the unexpected. We have been doing business with IGA, with uh, uh, Isaac Gamfrey and Menage over 10 years. They're very professional, one. Two, they always stare immediately. I mean, this is not a company who, uh, they take the, uh, the questions, the companies very seriously. So they're very informative uh, as far as also in the documents. They send you documents that uh, they take the time to call you. That um, I mean, they want to make sure you understand what you're supposed to be doing. So they guide you to the proper channels to, you know, to proceed with the, with the job. So again, they have few people and they all have been very professional, um, Isaac, Menage, and then they, the whole thing for IGA as well, because there's more people involved in that. We are one of the largest independent producers in the Northeast, yet still serving clients in a manner where they feel personally connected with our agency. As a sales team's leader with a degree and a background in accounting, I can ensure that we better advise our clients on how to efficiently utilize the policies such as leveraging the policy to negotiate better financing with their financial institution. IGA has earned a reputation for integrity, perceptiveness, and trust among its clients and business partners thanks to its more than 20 years of expertise in trade credit insurance and hundreds of respected and satisfied clients. If you're interested in investing in trade credit insurance to cover your business assets, visit their website, igatradecredit.com, or watch this segment again at insidetheblueprint.com. If you're not a lawyer, you probably don't know the ins and outs of commercial real estate and construction law. There are many misconceptions about choosing a law firm, and there are many people who, when they 
choose a real estate lawyer don't necessarily think about the transaction, they just think about the lawyer. And so they think any real estate lawyer can do any real estate transaction. Then there's choosing the lawyer. And so sometimes people assume, okay, any lawyer at any law firm is as good as any other lawyer at any other law firm. Or they assume because someone's at a big firm, all big firms have good lawyers, or all lawyers at all big firms are good lawyers. That's not necessarily the case. I actually didn't start out as a lawyer. I started out as a real estate paralegal. And I started out working for a solo practitioner who had left a big law firm. I worked as a paralegal, and then I ended up going to a big firm as a real estate paralegal as well. And while I was at that big firm, I was encouraged to go to law school and become a real estate lawyer and did that, did it in big law firms for a while. And then I had a, a pivotal moment in my career where I went away on vacation and came back from vacation and I had not one but two different clients say, if you ever go away on vacation again, please just put our matters on a shelf. Don't have somebody else work on it because we want you and you alone to work on our matter. And that's when I realized I have value as a lawyer that's separate and apart from being at this big 100 attorney firm. And thus, my value as a lawyer meant I could go and start a smaller firm with a colleague of mine from law school. And that's where I started the small firm in 2008. With professionals able to advise and guide you through your commercial real estate and construction law needs, Williams Legal Advisory Group is here to help. At Williams Legal Advisory Group, we are a boutique firm that specializes in commercial real estate and construction law. One of the differences that people experience working with a boutique firm than with a large law firm is that when working with a large law firm, often what happens is you have what is your relationship partner. That's the person who you pick up the phone and you call and you say, oh, I have a matter I need your assistance with. That relationship partner will then go to the other attorneys in the firm, find out who has availability. Your work will be assigned to an attorney at the firm who has the time, the bandwidth to work on your matter. You may not have ever worked with that attorney before. That attorney may not know you, may not know your business, might not know your business objectives. If you work with a boutique firm, such as our firm, you're going to know the attorney with whom you work. That attorney has probably done your work before, knows you, knows what you want. And instead of having a relationship partner, you will have a relationship with every professional at our firm. So one of the things that we do here at Williams Legal Advisory Group is in addition to the requirements that we have as practicing lawyers to meet our continuing legal education requirements is we also participate in those programs as speakers and panelists and we write articles. We are always engaged on the front line with learning new things about our areas of the law. We want to make sure that we always know what is going on so that we can advise our clients so that we are on the front end of what's happening and we're not playing catch up. And it is important to understand that going it alone and going without a commercial real estate and construction lawyer or law firm who knows what they're doing can be dangerous. And having lawyers who know what they're doing is always instrumental in making sure that your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted when doing a transaction. And transactions are becoming more and more sophisticated. It used to be people could do handshake deals and it was not a problem. But as things become more complicated and businesses become more complicated, it's important to have good lawyers. If you're looking for a law firm with seasoned lawyers and quality services, visit their website, williamsadvisors.com, or watch this segment again at insightetheblueprint.com. Finding the right candidate for an open position can be difficult if you don't have the right connections. Using a staffing agency can make the difference in the quality of talent you get. In today's world, one of the biggest challenges is identifying the right staff for your firm. Staffing agencies are growing at a high rate in the United States, but knowing when and who to use can be a difficult decision. The current staffing market is always shifting. Uh, it's very, very fluid. The industry is growing rapidly. I think that generally speaking, 
it is an issue for most businesses out there, no matter the industry. It is one of the biggest problems that every single business has right now. The recruiter to recruiter model is a newer concept for the United States. Basically every single company is struggling with staffing, including staffing agencies themselves. So what a recruiter to recruiter firm does is partners with more, in my case, the mid-sized, smaller, fast-growing firms who are having their best quarters ever and they want to invest more and they want to spend more money to grow their operation and take advantage of this growth that the United States market has been showing over the last decade. Cura Search was founded in March 2021 by myself and I started it out of my office. What the company does is we really go out and try and identify the best. My business model, my business plan is to find the most high performing salespeople within the staffing market that I can possibly find. What we really excel in is finding the right fit for your firm. So in a way, it's consulting. What got me into the recruiting industry was a connection that I had from college. His father uh, said, hey, I think you have what it takes to be a good recruiter. You're pretty outgoing, you're professional. I think that that's something that would really do, um, work well. I always wanted a job that got me connected with people and you know, was able to be remote if it ever had to be. So those things kind of married together and I thought it was pretty ideal. Not to mention the flexibility for you to switch from different industries to industries is, is much easier to do because you're building off of a, a basic skill set of transferable skills. Retained based recruitment is a very old school model. So what retained based recruitment is, is if you are a firm looking for staff, you will partner with a recruiter or a recruiting agency and give them a retainer so that they can utilize whatever resources that they want to identify the right staff for you. Contingency based is more of the, the newer school model. So the main difference is that when you're working with a retained firm, you're going to spend money no matter what. If they give you the candidate or don't, you're gonna spend your cash to have them run the search. With a lot of newer school models, like as my firm, is we only want to get paid if we come with a result. What I'm looking for in a candidate is someone who's communicative, serious about their career, and has proven skills that they can demonstrate to us. It is important for them to be timely. It's important for them to also have a clear direction of what they want. It also helps when they're confident and they're clear about what they're looking for. However, we understand what it means to be solid in terms of the professional world, but we also look past that. If you're looking to partner with Cura Search or are in need of a staffing agency, visit their website, curarecruiting.com, or watch this segment again at insidetheblueprint.com. As a business owner, you're an expert in your field. You know how to grow your business and how to sell and deliver the product or service you offer. What you may not know is how to handle the challenges that come with growth. Consultants can help bridge the gap, bringing knowledge and insights that quickly help you level up your game. I think it's important for business owners to consider working with a consultant simply because it can bring them progress so much faster than if they were trying to figure stuff out on their own. You know, a consultant can bring in so much experience and solutions and ideas and they see things at other companies and so it can just really make the learning curve go so much faster. At Delta V Strategies, we work to equip business owners with the insights and the knowledge they need to navigate growth. Uh, the majority of what we do is around, there's a lot of strategic planning sessions. We do quite a bit of leadership development and team development, along with training sessions that, you know, all of which is sort of customized to what whatever's going on inside the company. 
and then quite a bit of facilitating for those, especially for the leadership teams. Like any business, I very carefully choose the products and the services uh, that are offered. One of the things that I'm very proud and very excited that I have is something called the seven stages of growth. It is a framework that explains not only how growth impacts a company, but what leadership needs to do in order to successfully navigate that growth and be prepared for sort of the next stage that's coming. And because the model that it's based on is so specific, it's very actionable. We know what's coming and we can prepare for it. I was originally connected to Delta V through uh, one of our HR consultants. And so at the time I was looking for someone to help me uh, to put together a leadership development program for our management team. And many of those, uh, many of the staff and the uh, management team are pretty new to the managerial position. Very quickly, after I decided to use Jackie, she put together a six months long training program with months, uh, a group meeting, group session every month but also follow up with a one-on-one -on -one discussion, which is very precious. And that's been tremendous help, helpful to everyone. And some people even think this is the transformational um, a moment for them to really grow from a, you know, just a regular staff to become manager. Now some of them actually in the higher level as a director level. So they all credited to the training that Jackie had helped to put together. My approach when I work with a client is that we certainly want them to see some progress and we want them to see improvement quickly, but it's also about transferring knowledge and transferring skills and transferring insights so that they and their team are now equipped to do that. I think Jackie has a, a unique ability to read people, connect with individual leaders and it's important to realize that and not to just treat them like everybody else so jackie is very individualized and i really enjoy working with her the connection with her is very real very genuine and she does demonstrate a genuine care for the people and for the company and the well-being of uh, the growth and, 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 and development of the team. If you're interested in learning more about how a consultant can help, visit their website, deltavstrategies.com or watch this segment again at insidetheblueprint.com. Today, electronic manufacturing takes on a whole new level in New Jersey. With increased technology, it's time to bring big manufacturing back to the U.S. In the electronics manufacturing industry, the common misconception is that you need to go to the Asian market for cost-effective manufacturing. But with the advancements in 21st century technology, you're able to keep domestic manufacturing in the United States using faster equipment, faster throughput, which allows you to increase efficiencies in your factory. Precision Graphics is a full-service electronic manufacturer that provides personalized solutions for both small and large companies. So my grandfather founded Precision Graphics in 1971, and we've been producing electronics ever since that time. When he founded it, the idea was we were going to design and build electronics for other companies. That idea has evolved from when we went to building small runs to mass production. What started as us just building parking meters for people has grown now to producing assemblies for every kind of industry imaginable medical, industrial, power, telecommunications, consumer electronics, and we all do it here in the United States. One of the things that our customers really appreciate is we, we literally treat them as, as a partner in the business. There is a misconception in the industry that if you choose to go to offshore with your manufacturing, you're automatically gonna see potentially better pricing. It really comes down to the time it takes to build a board then our ability to build that PC board in a, in, in a specific time frame is equal to anything around the world. So it really makes us as competitive. We have machines that can literally place parts the size of a grain of peppers, you know, a flake of salt, 
you can place 60,000 of those per hour on circuit boards. And we have four of those production lines here in New Jersey. We've been with companies you know, from startup till you know, now there's 25 years we've been involved with them. Um, so that's a, that's a huge thing. A lot of customers have their own designs and their own engineers, and then they come to us for the manufacturing. Um, we offer uh, you know, design for manufacturing, DFM. Um, we help them get through the process of, of making sure that it's done correctly. We care about our customers, we care about their growth. Um, if they succeed, you know, we succeed. One of the best parts about being a small family owned business is that you truly grow up in the business. There's multiple people that work here today that grew up in the business, that came to our company picnics as they were children with their parents and now they work here as adults and their parents still work here and their kids are now working here. It allows you to feel like we're, you're just at one place, you're at home the entire time you're here at the business. A lot of our customers are small operators, you know, they're bringing a technology to the market that maybe doesn't exist yet or it's a cutting edge technology. Some one of the big giant Fortune 500 guys, they get lost in the mix and they can become a small operation, no one really cares about them. The beauty of Precision Graphics is we have that small family feel. You're not getting lost, you're not being felt like you're one of these tiny operators, but you're truly a, a perfect fit no matter the size of your company. To learn more about Precision Graphics, visit their website, precisiongraphics.us, or watch this segment again on insidetheblueprint.com. Real estate investing is an exciting and confusing industry. With tons of laws on things you can and cannot do, it's important to educate yourself on the details. I actually began my career doing tax returns for the rich and famous for in Beverly Hills. The IRS actually issued a revenue ruling that kind of gave birth to this whole industry uh, and allowed the, the DST or the syndicated real estate offering to qualify for Section 1031 exchange. Because the uh, identification rules for 1031 exchange allow you go, to go into multiple properties and because the investment minimums for the DST is as low as $100,000, we can diversify an investor into multiple properties or maybe even to a single offering with as many as 20 to 30 triple net retail stores like Walgreens and CVS and Walmart, for example. Yeah, there's three basic premise for, for an exchange. When you give up ownership of property, it has a certain value. And with an exchange, you need to replace that full value. Well, that value is typically made up of two things, the amount of cash that comes from a sale and the amount of debt on the property. So to fully replace an investment, you gotta replace that value and put all the cash back in. And if, so if you're replacing that full value, you gotta come up with the rest of the money to buy the property. So normally you're going to get more debt again. So on the sales side, there's cash and debt. And basically to replace that full value, you gotta put all the money back in and go borrow more money on the replacement side. For a 1031 exchange, ideally you're looking for a stable asset, stable income, growth potential, and most regular folks wouldn't know where to find that property. And so they need someone to source the property for them, to conduct the due diligence, to negotiate the loan, to manage the property. It's a turnkey investment. It's a calling. You have to really have a knack. You have to, you have, to have a thirst for finding the real estate, financing the real estate, managing the real estate, working within this structure called a DST, and making all the pieces and parts work together. DSTs are sold like securities. They are, they are a security, they're like stocks and bonds, and they're sold through a private placement memorandum, which is essentially a disclosure document. It describes the sponsor, the property, the financing, the market. Anything that is relevant to that property and that offering will be fully disclosed in great detail in the private placement memorandum. And that makes it easy to study a property. Well, because of Cornerstone's extensive experience over 20 years, we have deep, deep relations with all the sponsors, uh, as well as we've been through two major economic recessions. Uh, we've learned incredible amounts of lessons about in real estate investments, and we have deep knowledge of the tax law, uh, both in structuring your 1031 exchange coming into it and also out of the investment, but also how to shelter that cash flow from federal and state income tax. If you'd like more information on how a 1031 exchange could help you, visit their website, 
cornerstonedst.com or watch this segment again at insidetheblueprint.com. Choosing paint can be a daunting task and not all paint is the same. There's a common misconception that paint is paint. And I think contributing to that is the fact that it's all packaged pretty much in the same container. Everything comes in the can until you open the can. And then you start to see that the formulation and the resins and the raw materials make all the difference. Color influences people and affects their emotions. Where a green is calming and a red excites you, or a yellow sparks your memory. Color is very personal. With stores throughout New York City, Janovic provides high quality paint and supplies for all project sizes. Janovic is the oldest operating paint store in New York. It goes back to 1888, has such a rich heritage and history. We've painted so many iconic buildings over the years and been such a part of bringing color to New York City. Uh, buildings like the Flatiron Building and the Empire State Building and new buildings like the Freedom Tower. We have different demands from different clients that we service. A theater may need a color that has no light reflection. A museum needs an exact color that's behind the Picasso painting that's on there. The hotel is really concerned with the scuff marks that could happen from suitcases going through the lobby. So we adjust to what's the right product for the right job. Knowing our customers well, we understand that they have different needs. You know, our contractors are, you know, they're not just motivated by price, they're motivated by service and they're motivated by quality products. So we've been committed to listening to our customers, you know, bringing in new products, whether it's high-end German tools or um, Venetian plasters and high-end decorative finishes. Uh, when someone walks into Janovic looking to choose a color, before they come into the store, they usually have a good idea of what they're looking for, but they need some guidance to get there. That's where we come in, to give suggestions, to give them advice based on the experience of our staff. Janovic has colorists that have been there for decades, one for over 50 years. The dedicated colorists are what sets Janovic apart. Janovic's more than just a paint store. We have paint and paint supplies, but we also have home goods, uh, custom blinds, tools, hardware, um, whatever you need for your home decorating project. There's a rich history with Janovic, and while we respect that heritage, we also look for tomorrow with the employees that'll be running Janovic and the training and education that goes there. We're very much a part of key design schools where we supply color materials, education, we've had scholarships. Color is such an essential part of what we do and our business. We are the color authority and that's our registered trademark and we live it every day. To learn more about Janovic, visit their website, janovic.com, or watch this segment again at insidetheblueprint.com. Thanks for watching Inside the Blueprint. For more information on any of the products you saw today, please visit insidetheblueprint.com.